Hi. Thank you for the pat paper materials and Nate goes to question 25. Okay, so in question 25, we're told that a forest is inhabited by three species of macaw, which are all the same shape but are different sizes and colours. We're told that the food consumption of each type of macaw is proportional to its the square of its length. And we're told that the types are crimson, which we'll call C, ruby, which we'll call R, and scarlet, which we'll call S. And we're given three bits of information, and we're told to use these to find their length. And the way I'm going to do this question is I'm going to make the point a, B, C, and then write down, rather than writing verbally, rather than writing in words what the point says, I'm going to write down its meaning in an equation, because it's, it's a lot of effort to write down the answer, write down it in, in words, it's not worth it. It's not worth, it's not, it's not very useful depiction. So we're going to start with A tells us. A says, a crimson macaw and a ruby macaw put together are twice as long as a scarlet macaw. So that tells us that the length of a ruby macaw, which we'll say is R, plus the length of a crimson macaw, we'll call C, is equal to twice the length of a scarlet one. Okay, right. B, a crimson macaw and a scarlet macaw put together eat, eat as much as a ruby macaw. So we're told that the food consumption is proportional to the square of the length of the bird. And, well, we know they're all the same shape. And shape, well, if they're all the same shape, then that means they have the same constant of proportionality. So, because we know shape is proportional to length squared. So, if they're all the same shape, they're going to have the same, sorry, area is proportional to length squared. So the same shape, they're going to have the same constant proportionality. So what that means is we can actually ignore it. And we can simply write down their food consumption as the square of their lengths. So we're told that a crimson macaw and a scarlet macaw put together eat as much as a ruby macaw. So that means C squared plus S squared equals to R squared. And in part C, we're told that two crimson macaws and a scarlet macaw put together are one meter long. And well, that means 2c plus s equals 1. Okay, so what we notice is we have here an equation relating s and c. So if we could replace the c in here, the s in here, with the s from here, we could solve for c in terms of r. Okay, so what we'll do is we say this tells us this equation C tells us that S equals to 1 minus 2C. So if we label this as 1, 2, and 3, we're going to put 3 into 2. And therefore we get C squared plus 1 minus 2C squared equals to R squared. Okay. But then we also notice up here that we can say... So 1 implies, but in fact, r equals to 2s minus c. And then we see from 3 that s is equal to 1 minus 2c. That's 1 minus 2c times 2 minus c. Well, that's 2 minus 4c minus c, which is 2 minus 5c. So we can replace r with 2 minus 5c. So therefore, we get c squared plus 1 minus 2c squared equals r squared. So that's 2 minus 5c all squared. Well, therefore, c squared plus 1 minus 4c plus 4c squared equals to 4 minus 20c plus 25c squared. And therefore, we get 20c squared minus 16c plus 3 equals to 0, which factors into 10c minus 3, 2c minus 1 equals to 0. Well, therefore, we see C is, in fact, 3 tenths or 1 half. Let's consider these. What happens if C is a half? Well, if C is a half, we see from this that S is 1 minus 2 times a half is 1. So 1 minus 1, so S would be 0. So that means we cannot have C being a half. So that means C is, in fact, 0 0.3 metres, which tells us from here that r is 2 minus 5 times 0 0.3, 2 minus 1.5, which is 0 0.5 meters. And then our, crim our, sorry, our scarlet, well, scarlet is 1 minus 2c, so that's 1 minus 0 0.6, so that's 0 0.4 meters. And those are the lengths.